All right, guys, again, girls and journeygamits here. Northwest Ambulance Service have declared a high number of calls, apparently, uh, from indicated due the highest level calls saying anyone who calls is not life threatening. Baby asked to seek an internal score of care of making their own way to hospital. So what it means by that is some people that can't have their operations like cancer, chemotherapy, or any other illnesses that I've mentioned. I mean, I had cancer myself and some people didn't believe me and thought I was lying about it, which I found buying very sickening and heartbreaking and horrible. Um, so the on the news channel are saying some people can't make it for their appointments of hospitals. There's going to be a massive queue because of the coronavirus. Everything's getting going to be, sorry, everything is going to be getting filled up very quickly and very rapidly because there's not going to be enough spaces in the hospitals. They may have to open up the Nightingale Hospital to make more room for the patients, coronavirus. And uh, who's, who knows what's going to be going on? So they're going to be debating this on Thursday. I think the Labour will push this bill through of a second lockdown. I don't think the Conservatives want a second lockdown because it stops their business. It affects everybody else's business. But uh, it's either you have a lockdown or all the people's lives die or how are people are supposed to make a living. I mean, they can argue both sides. It says here, if we can put in print. Uh, Rec Biv Bivy is speaking here. MPs end of new lockdown will be seeked. East restrictions and going back into into tiered symptoms or something. I don't know. I don't know. Some of these words are confusing for me, me uh, guys and girls, but I'm trying to read what is going on here and trying to explain to you my way, my brain, how the world is. So basically, um, the domestic violence, there'd be a lot of people calling up for help and people that get beaten up by their own family members and family, and it's not nice at all. That's what they're talking about on this news channel. They're talking about people's... Because he was asked about... Hold on a minute, the bloody controllers just died on me. As I was saying, I'm going to have to change the controller over. Two seconds, because it's just died on me soon. I will be back in two minutes to discuss more things. As you can see here, controller flat was in the flat, the other one was in the flat. But there you go, go. back on with you. See, sorry about that. I had to pause the video, but uh, the controller died, so I had to. As I was talking about domestic violence, it's not a good thing that people go around beating and hurting people for no reason. It would be a nicer world if people wouldn't be doing that sort of stuff. But they're talking about that. They're talking about people's uh, illnesses that are going to be on hold. The, the hospitals are going to be chock-a-block, basically. And what I mean by chock-a-block is, for the hospitals and things, there's not going to be enough room for everybody. You would have thought they'd employ more staff for this coronavirus, but there's getting the staff in is the problem. But we just have to wait and see. I mean, this is people's lives they're going to be affecting. There's going to be more deaths across the world because of this coronavirus than you've never seen before. And this is just the beginning. And some places have had the second wave, other places have had the third wave, and fourth wave would be eventually. Will this virus keep spreading? How are we going to slow it down? Will this virus work when we get injected with it or will it make people worse will more people die of the vaccine and eventually bring it out i had to talk about this because it's uh, a thing that most people want to hear some people probably don't want to be hearing about death but uh, it happens all the time unfortunately which is very saddening um so no one deserves to be hurt and beaten there's a lot of craziness going on in the world as well. People are getting stabbed, shot and murdered for no reason at all. But just because the people have got no money. I wanted to put that in there as well. It would be nice if we could just have a magic wand or have a time machine and basically say, well, we don't want to be living in a world with pain and hatred. We want to be living in a world like paradise. But that's not going to happen, is it? And some, that probably upsets a lot of people and annoys a lot of people because they want to be living in the world where there's no people dying all the time. If you guys and girls had the option, what would you pick? Would you rather go through the right path 
of the coronavirus still? Or would you pick the left path, which is the narrowest road, which makes things back to normal? I know which road I'd pick, I'd pick the left path. Because the right path would just keep going on and on and on. Never end. Uh, eventually, there's got to be some end to this coronavirus. Eventually, they get the right things together to make the coronavirus right. Well, we just have to wait and see. It's just one of those things at the moment, and you can see on the TV, Christmas lights are up. So Christmas would probably won't be the same this year. People's birthdays, anniversaries, and celebrating weddings. I mean, people, lots of people are wearing masks, as you can see on the TV here. Some people are probably refuse to wear a mask. Some people probably think this coronavirus is fake and it's not real. And some people are probably thinking Boris Johnson is making this go on even more longer than it should be. Are they trying to make this country controlled like China? But how are they going to do that? Because China got more police in the UK. People are working out in the gym. The gyms are going to be closed. Leisure centres, theatres. People have to do working out at home or in the garden or somewhere. Who knows, guys and girls, but this, the world's gone very crazy rapidly. Will the world ever be the same again? Once the lid's been taken off of this virus, we can't control it. It's affecting a lot of clothes businesses and everything. You can see there. There's a guy speaking there about something. I don't know what he's saying because my controller's plugged in to something. Unless it's having a big hit with all the uh, things. But anyway, another short video. Hope you all enjoyed it. Give it a like, give it a comment. It's very sad these people are getting hurt for no reason in the world and getting abused and getting people into trouble. Uh, it, it sickens me. That's what annoys me about the world as well. And these terrorists that go around blowing up innocent people, that's another thing that winds me up and annoys me. I have got a heart in me, and I know. I just do not like people getting in pain. You know, all these bullies that do pain to people as well, they don't deserve to be on this earth, but they, I mean, they've got problems themselves. In a way, we've all got problems. It's how we deal with it. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Give it a like, give it a comment, share it with your friends. I'm sorry if I was just talking different sorts of things and not keeping on to one subject. I sometimes move on to different things, but that's me. Anyway, thank you for joining me. See you next one. Peace.